Hello everyone, my name is Song Yu, and it's my great pleasure to share our research with you today. Our research focuses on joint learning of hidden state transition and state-dependent intervariable dependencies from multivariate time series data. And we develop a deep neural network-based model to address the research problems. Many th thanks to my collaborators of this work, including Dr. San, Dr. Tang, Dr. Wang, and Dr. Hanavar. My talk today will cover the motivation of this work, the research questions we aim to answer, our proposed methodology, and some experimental results. Finally, I will wrap up the talk with the conclusion and briefly discuss our ongoing future works. The task of structured learning for a Bayesian network is to learn the structure of a directed acyclic graph. The graphical model encodes conditional dependencies and independencies in the graph structure. A Bayesian network provides interpretability and allows actions like inference to be performed. It has many important applications in different areas of science, such as genetics, biology, economics, causal inference, and so on. Given the abundance of observational data in the big data era, structured learning from observational data is an important research topic and has continued to gain research attention. In the vast literature, score-based methods are popular choices for structured learning from observational data. The objective of the score-based methods is to minimize a scoring function, which measures goodness of fits of the graph subject to the graph being a directed acyclic graph. Although mature scoring functions have been proposed, however, solving the ob objective function is a very hard problem because of the combinatorial nature of the DAG constraint, and the research space grows fast with respect to the number of variables or number of nodes in the graph. Some classical methods rely on heuris heuristics-based research. In a 2018 NIPS paper, the author proposed a smooth characterization of the acyclic constraint and proved that solving it is equivalent to solving the original combinatorial optimization problem. The theorem states that a weighted adjacency matrix G is acyclic if and only if the function H evaluates to zero, where H computes the trace of the matrix exponential and subtracts the number of nodes. The advantage of the smooth characterization is that it is easy to compute both the function and its derivative and allows existing machinery for constrained optimization to be applied. Building upon this work, a series of score-based methods have been proposed to discover DAX from static observational data. <clears throat> the main contribution of these follow-up works is incorporating the smooth cyclic characterization with the advantages of the state-of-the-art techniques, such as deep neural network and reinforcement learning. Most existing works investigate static data or investigate static graph for time series data. By static, I mean the graph do not change over time. The connections in the graph represent the conditional independencies between uh, the entire sequences of observations. <clears throat> However, we observe changing relations in real life examples. In finance literature, people investigated how oil price affect the GDP of South Africa and the stock market in Iran, and found that an oil price shock can cause different impacts when the economics is in different states. One can also discover changing relations in different fields of studies. From these examples, we make the following observations. The intervariable dependencies change with time, and it changes when the underlying state changes. Against this background, we study joint hidden state and state-dependent intervariable dependencies discovery in this research, and which given multivariate time series data, the objective is to learn a function to simultaneously recover the instance-specific hidden state transition sequence as well as the state-dependent intervariable dependencies. We aim to address the following research challenges. How do we model non-stationary data with state switch model? And how do we model dynamic intervariable relationships? In this study, we designed a score-based method with a smooth acyclic characterization to find the directed acyclic graphs. 
The scoring function is the square error prediction loss on the dynamic vector autoregressive model. It is assumed that the model only transists between finite number of states, S from 1 to capital S. When the model is at a given state, the variable at the next time point is predicted using the state-specific autoregressive model. In the current objective function, we are assuming a one lacked model, and there is no contemporary impact. To learn the objective, we proposed a deep neural network-based approach featuring a state-regularized recurrent unit and a dynamic vector autoregressive model. In the framework, we utilize a recurrent unit to model the hidden state progression, and the recurrent unit maintains state encoding C1 to Cs. At a given time point, we extract the intermediate hidden state vector from the LSTM, evaluate the similarities of the hidden state vector to the state encodings, and obtain scores alpha 1 to alpha s by normalizing the similarities. The final hidden state vector is obtained by a weighted summation of the state encodings with respect to the scores. This state vector will be assigned as the final hidden state of the LSTM at the current time point. Note that we can control the hyperparameters of the normalization operation so that the output approximates one hot encoding and consequently approximates discrete state transition. On the other hand, the state encoding with the highest score would be exploited to generate the autoregressive matrices, namely the acyclic intervariable relationship matrix and the diagonal intravariable time-lagged effect matrix. The matrices are then combined and used in the dynamic autoregressive model to obtain the observations at the next time point. In this framework, we adopted fully connected feed-forward network to generate the autoregressive matrices, and only the intervariable dependencies matrices are considered in the smooth acyclic constraint. Additionally, to further enhance the discrete state transition property, we introduced an entropy-based regularization to the model. Similarly, if some prior knowledge of the distribution of the hidden states is available, we designed a KL divergence-based regularization to incorporate such information. To conclude, the final objective function is given in the top right box. The model parameters are chained to minimize the autoregression error and the state related <coughs> and the state related regularizations subject to the smooth acyclic constraint. <coughs> the entire framework can be optimized using gradient descent, and we opted to use the atom optimizer in this study. <coughs> <coughs> I will proceed to share the experiment setup and results. In this study, we compared with state-of-the-art benchmarks, including time series data, static dependency learners, SG, SCGL, and DNT static. Dynamic dependency learners, CPF, SAEM, and DNT vary. And finally, hidden state transition modeling approach, SRLSTM. We compared our model to these benchmarks under state transition monitoring performance and intervariable dependencies modeling performance. The experiment was conducted with synthetic data where we designed static pattern data <clears throat> and dynamic pattern data. For static pattern data, every multivariate time series data instance goes through identical hidden state transition pattern as listed on the left of the table. On the contrary, for dynamic pattern data, every instance goes through a hidden state transition pattern randomly selected from the four candidates. A summary of the six synthetic data sets can be found in the bottom right table. The three tables in this slide summarize the quantitative results. On the left, the hidden state transition monitoring accuracy is reported. And the proposed model achieves the best results in both static pattern and dynamic pattern data sets. On the right, relation learning results are reported. It is observed that the proposed model also performed competitively in both static and dynamic pattern data sets. In addition to analysis on synthetic data, we also conducted an experiment with a real-world human stress-related data sets. In this data set, 
the human participants were asked to perform stress-inducing tasks, and therefore it is natural to assume that the underlying system transits between stress states and relaxed states. On the left, we present case studies on the hidden state monitoring capability of the proposed approach. And we can see that it captures the transitions with high accuracy. On the bottom right table, a quantitative analysis is, pretend, is presented. On the top right figures, we present the state-dependent intervariable dependencies extracted by the model. The first observation we made is that the biological measurements form sparser connections in the relaxed states and denser connections in the stressed states. Secondly, the ACCX and ACCY representing accelerometer readings recorded by a wrist-worn sensor that are indicative of physical activity <clears throat> appear to impact the heart rates of the participants in stress states. We further observed that body temperature has impacts on heart rates and skin conductance, EDA, which are consistent with the main findings. Finally, we conducted ablation study and sensitivity analysis of the proposed approach. On the top lab table, we compared the model performance with and without certain model components and found that the inclusion of those components aid the model performance in respective metrics. On the right, a subset of model sensitivity analysis is reported. We found that the intervariable relation modeling performance is rather stable to the selection of the parameters, while the hidden state transitioning performance appears to be more sensitive to the parameters. On the bottom lab table, we compare how setting different number of states affect the hidden state transition monitoring performance, and the results show that setting the number to its correct value, which is four in this case, is an important factor to the performance. To conclude today's presentation, we studied simultaneous hidden state transition and state-dependent intervariable discovery problem and proposed the SRVARM approach which features a state-regularized recurrent unit and a dynamic autoregressive model. Furthermore, we incorporated the smooth acyclic constraint and some hidden state-related regularizations to train the model. Finally, we achieved competitive results in terms of state transition and monitoring and intervariable dependencies discovering performance. Some promising feature works include an extension of the current framework to cope with longitudinal data where observations are made in an irregular fashion, and an extension to consider spatial temporal data. Thank you for your attention.